Again, I am going to show you guys how to get, uh, and I've done this tutorial already before, but I'll do it again. This is the fast version. How to get uh, YouTube content onto your Oculus Go. And so YouTube VR content, for instance. This is how you do it. It's pretty simple. Um, it's easy to say. It's harder to do. Um, you're going to want, um, well, this is just what I do because this is what I'm comfortable with is to use Cygnus, Sigwin. Uh, so Sigwin is basically the entire open source offering for Windows. Um, so what's open source? Open source means that uh, um, it's free software, let's say that. And um, so software you would probably otherwise pay for, um, you can get for free and um, but the limitation is that if you distribute it to anybody else, they you have to give them access to the same stuff that you had. So you basically just tell them where to get it. Um, so this is how we get SIGWIN. We type into our what address bars the uh, words C Y G W I N. Hit enter. Type in uh, get to SIGWIN here. And you're going to install Sigwin. And once it's fully installed, or actually this is what it looks like whenever you install it. Um, you click on that thing. Pops up there. You go into this, install internet. You just keep clicking this. You know, whatever it throws at you, just keep clicking. And, uh, in here, you type uh, Python and uh, to make sure that it gets the newest version of Python, it's going to get Python 3. So um, it looks like so it's going to be part of it. So uh, oh, it already has that in there. So just hit next, next. And once it's fully installed, You'll, you'll open it up and what it'll be is a command line. I know you probably don't want to deal with command line, but that's, you know, that's where all the fun is, you know, is dealing with that command line. Well, anyhow, once it's installed, you'll have something that looks like this, or whoops, not that, but uh, like this. It'll be a blank window like this. And uh, you then put that to side and then you pop in up here at the top in your address bar YouTube dash DL enter and you select the first guy off the top which is rg3 github io YouTube DL select that sucker he comes up with this select download Select this number here, and uh, it will download something called YouTube-DL. You go and look for it in the folder. You uh, take it, and will you open up another folder? So create a new folder on your desktop, and drag and drop that folder into... Well, no, first you, you type in CD space, and then you drag and drop that folder into the shell. Click in the window, and it'll take you to that folder, and then you will, you will double click on that folder, and you will drag and drop the YouTube DL into that folder, and you will rename it uh, to youtube dash dl and uh, then you will close the folder and go in here do an ls just to see that you got ls minus a a l y t r l t r and uh, that will show you a complete detailed listing of what you got which is youtube dl 
you um, might want to do a chmod777 on the YouTube DL. And I hit the tab key, that's an auto complete. And uh, then I do a dot slash YouTube DL. And what that tells the program is to execute that script from where it's um, from this current folder. <clears throat> so dot means current folder, slash means this folder. Um, it, that is a folder that you're specifying. And then the YouTube DL uh, specifies that script to be executed. And then you hit space, minus K, space, minus A. And uh, we're going to leave it. Now we're going to go and get our YouTube content. We go up to YouTube. And uh, before we do that, let's uh, jaunt off to the side and go to my site, which is www.channelz. Uh, or the easiest way to get my site is www.c3z.me slash and uh, it goes here and you go in and you create a playlist Mr. Twit and you say make Mr. Twit proud drop drag and drop that onto your bookmark bar click on it it opens up this window the reason why we're getting here is for these bookmarklets. We want the YouTube image-based sucker bookmarklet. We drag that up to our drag and to our bookmarklet bar. We go into the edit uh, script thing, and we get rid of this line and substitute with it document write and I semicolon and uh, hit save let's call this uh, dump playlist to or playlist we'll, we'll just call it playlist to batch file so then we just go up to YouTube, or actually you can just go through Channel Z and pick some content. This will work on Channel Z as well, I mean on YouTube as well. I can do this, uh, 1986 is better half. Uh, no, no, non TV mode. And, uh, and select the icons view here. Select playlist to batch file um, I want I think that'll work let me, let me copy that in Let's see let me go back uh, icons icons I think I need to modify this batch thing again pop in here um, instead of comma put the R and then do it again hit save so, so I put in the break tag in there so playlist to batch file it dumps the playlist out I select all of this copy it Go into the folder, open up a text file, um, plain old text file, paste my codes, save, and uh, rename it something that's easy to type. Batch. Call it the batch.txt file. And then I go back to my to my shell. I drag and drop this into there, and uh, then I hit uh, enter, and it should should start trying to download those videos. 
And so it's downloading Madonna's Open Your Heart video. And it's going to save out all the video files that it can get off of YouTube into, uh, into the folder. So now it's doing Janet Jackson's When I Think of You. And next, what's the next video? Level 42 Lessons in Love. I'm probably going to get all these videos because I love all this music. And I throw it up into my Oculus Go. And uh, how do you get it in your Go? Um, you take your Go and you get your, your little power cable. You connect it to your computer um, via the USB. Pop in the um, little connector to the Oculus, and be sure you've got your um, your controller ready because it's going to ask you if you want to connect to the uh, want to allow the computer to have access to the Go. And so you you look in your Go. Um, in its view, you hit the little um, reorientation button, you say allow, and that allows it access to the, the computer to have access to the Go. Cover the little uh, infrared uh, um, thing that's inside the Go that uh, detects whether or not your head is pressed up against it. Cover that up so that it stays on. Um, and then you go to your VR headset, you click on the storage, select uh, movies, and as you can see I already have some stuff in there. And I, and I go to my folder that has now has some more music video content that's still loading. I'm just going to take the stuff that I found so far which is, uh, and it's the MKV files that you want. So, In the Shape of a Heart by Jackson Brown, Janet Jackson, Level 42, Madonna. Uh, and then you just drag and drop those into your Oculus Go. And there you have it. There it's in your Oculus Go. And to verify that I have it in my Oculus Go, I disconnect my Oculus Go. Then I put it up to my face. And I navigate to the to the um, um, Oculus Gallery app. It's called Oculus Gallery. You click on it, and it opens up your internal storage. You go to the internal storage, and you select one of your favorite music videos, which is from Level Forty Two. Or we could go to the next one, which is Janet Jackson. Or I always thought that the word record was a great word for it, meaning like a record of events. I still call them records, even if they're CDs, you know, because it's a record of events. Like that great line in Leonard Cohen's song, you know, in, in, in Famous Blue Ring Room, I hope you're keeping some kind of record. Okay. Or so there you go. I've got music videos in my Oculus Go, and if you wanted VR content, uh, do the same thing. Pop into YouTube VR, and you know I'll probably just stick a, a link to the actual script that I used. It's a bookmarklet, um, and uh, so we pop into YouTube. We click on uh, go to YouTube VR um, pop into YouTube virtual reality or, and select some playlists go for a playlist of say the best of VR playlist uh, rather do view full playlist and it shows this view and select some uh, some YouTube uh, uh, and then hit the batch playlist to batch file 
it's not perfect it doesn't always work but uh, let me try it again and see if it worked the second time uh, come on and playlist yeah well I got some content so I have a better way of processing those pages um, so I'll probably take all the VR content and stuff it into a channel on Channel Z so that people can easily glean off of uh, what the video content is. But uh, one easy way is just to go to Channel Z and get your playlist content from there. So there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you get uh, all the YouTube videos you want. And if that copy, that script doesn't work, re-download the script. The guy's always updating it. Uh, as much as YouTube keeps trying to protect their video content from being downloaded, the YouTube DL is always available to do more downloads. And uh, so there you go. Have fun.